Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be explaining the differences between ethic pond and concrete pond. Well, I know this topic is not news to you guys, okay? But I just want to throw more light on the boat. The boat pond are good and they are best for you. But you should know the um, with these few points that I'll be sharing, I think you should know the one that is best for you or the one that you will go into. Now, what is an ethic pond? An ethic pond is a type of pond that, that is big dog to a ground. Why a concrete pond is a type of pond that is being built by blocks, cement, and the rest of the stuff. Okay, so those are just the two differences. And with those particular two pictures showing, you should know the differences between the two. And now, if you want to go into catfish farming, for you to choose an ethic pond or concrete pond, there are some few characteristics which I'll be sharing. Number one, if you want to go into an ethic pond, like I mentioned, ethic pond is a type of pond that is being dug to the ground. So it's just like you building a natural appetite for fish. So, and if you go into this particular one, you will discover that your fish will do very well. They will grow rapidly, they will grow faster, and they will have this taste that is just natural. Why? And or, I mean, on the concrete pond is a type of pond that is being built by the blocks. So if you are building a concrete pond for your fish, it's just like as if you are you are doing what on what we call the artificial type of catfish farming because it's being built by blocks and and cement. So due to that, your fish sometimes has some taste, although it it depends on the management and how you manage your fish sometimes. But nevertheless, it's I mean it's not going to look like you raising the fish in an ethic pond because the concrete pond is just like an artificial way of raising fish. So now let's go into the, I mean, the, the advantage and disadvantage of the boat. Now one advantage of catfish farming, which is using an ethic pond, is just that your fish are just going to be natural. It's just you providing a natural appetite for fish. Why one advantage of the concrete one, is you providing an artificial way of raising fish. Those are just the that means the advantage of them. Then another advantage of concrete pond is that you know you can easily control diseases in the what I mean the concrete pond. You know you just create something for them to be inside, so you will know the amount of fishes inside the on um, I mean the pond, and also for you to treat them easily to be very easy. You can compare that with an ethic pond. So that is another second advantage of concrete pond. Now the third advantage of concrete pond is that uh, you can build it anywhere you know you're just going to build it on a dry land why for ethic pond ethic pond must be dug in where that has water especially a, i mean on a land that has a very large amount of water you can't just build an ethic pond anyhow no you must look for a land that has a very high capacity of water or something that is even very close to the river for you to get your water easily because ethic pond is just like on i mean it generates water by itself why for the concrete pond you you know you are the you are the person providing water to the pond just like this particular video showing right here so those are just the advantage and disadvantage of the boat now another advantage of ethic pond is that on it reduces smell that is just one advantage of ethic pond it reduces smell when you are raising your fish you know your fish are just like living in their natural appetite so the water is written by itself so that was the reason why when you are constructing your ethic pond you should have inlets and outlets so that the water will be flowing directly the water will not be storing in one place so due to that there wouldn't be um, i mean a, a high number of smell it reduces pollution at the same time reduces smell but why for the you know concrete pond they are just in one space you are the one providing water changing the water and everything so due to that fact it's going to smell that is just one disadvantage of the boat as well but like I said from the onset, the boats are good. It depends on where and how do you want to construct them. Okay. But why for the concrete pond as well? Like I said, you'll be generating water. So due to that, you have a borehole at your farm. For the ethic pond, it's just dug naturally. So they will be generating water by themselves. So you are not going to be, you know, pumping water or look for any yet. So that was the reason why when you are constructing your ethic pond, look for a land that has water, a land that is close to a stream. So you can generate your water from there. Why for concrete pond, you know, you provide like on, I mean, the borehole that you'll be supplying water to them. So I think judging from that too, you will discover that on creating or constructing 
a concrete pond is it's kind of a little bit expensive than ethic pond due to the fact that you'll be generating water you'll be providing water but why for the ethic pond you know it's just like natural so on um, the money you use to create or to construct concrete pond is expensive than the money you'll be using to construct an ethic pond although it depends on your capacity too if you want to store, I mean, stock a, a, a big capacity, then you'll be spending more. So that is just the differences between them and their, their advantages. Now, another advantage, uh, there are another advantage of concrete pond is that you will know the total number of feet that is, I mean, that, that is being waste. Yeah, let, let me put it that way. Because if you are feeding your fish with a floating feed, if your fish are, you know, they, I mean, they, they are okay with the feed, then you are still going to see, or I mean, the, the number of the feed that will be floating on top of the water. Although Etsy Pond does that too, but you, know, you can't compare that with, an, with a concrete pond. But judging from this particular viewpoint, I think you should know the one that is best for you to go into. And like I said from the number one, if you are raising your fish in an Etsy Pond, it grows faster and grows bigger and it has a natural taste. But why, why are going your, I mean, your fish in a concrete pond? It grows faster too, but you can't compare that with an empty pond. So those are just a few reasons why you should know the one that you should go into. And like I said, the boats are good. They are best. So it depends on your capacity, the number of the, I mean, it depends on your budget. Rather, the number of the capacity of fish you want to stock and where do you want to construct those particular pond? Is it a dry land or a place that probably you are living close to a stream? If you are living close to a stream, I would advise you to go into Con um, an ethic pond but if you are living in a place whereby the i mean to get water or to you know it's very hard then go into the concrete pond it will be the best option for you but like i said the boats are good it depends on the one you want and how you want to go about it okay so i'll make this particular video show that if you want to know the two differences i've mentioned that the, ad the advantage and disadvantage I've mentioned that in this particular videos as well. And please, if you want to go into catfish farming, if you want to learn how to do your catfish farming, the total number of fish is to stock, how you are going to feed them, you reach out to me with this my particular number showing right here, and I'll help you out with that. And if today is the first time of coming across my YouTube channel, do you have to subscribe, turn the description bell to be notified when I drop a video for you. Keep on sharing my videos and bye for now.